What's going on guys, this is the Bag of Tricks here, welcome back to another video. Today is a skiing video and I make a lot of these on my channel, so if you are new here and you enjoy skiing, please feel free to subscribe for more videos. They'll be coming out pretty frequently, especially as I approach winter. I also make adventure videos, BMX, skateboarding videos, all kinds of stuff in the summer, so I try to make videos for everybody and uh, I would love for you to join the fam, the Bag of Tricks fam. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I will love you forever. But anyways, Welcome back to another video. I haven't made a video in a little bit because me and some friends are working on a pretty pretty good project. I can't really talk about it right now, but you guys are gonna enjoy it when it's done. So today I wanna help you guys pick your first park skis. A lot of people, whether you're new to park, whether you're new to skiing, they don't really know how to pick a pair of park skis because there are so many options out there. Now today what I'm gonna do is not provide you with a list of specific skis that you should go get. I don't really think that helps you in your search for skis, but I want to kind of talk about the builds and the styles of park ski and then hopefully you can kind of narrow down the options and then find a park ski that you really think will be perfect for you. Let's start this by talking about construction of a park ski. Now, for the most part, there's cambered skis and there's rockered skis. Now, there are like hybrids of the two, but for the most part, you're gonna be looking at camber and rocker. So each of these are better at certain things. A rockered ski is gonna be very good at buttering. It's gonna be very flexible, very playful. You can be very creative on that type of ski. A cambered ski, on the other hand, while you're, you'll still be able to butter it, it's gonna be much stiffer. It's gonna be more stable. It's gonna be better for jumps, high speeds, high impacts. Uh, and the rockered ski is gonna be more, you know, gauged towards jibs, rails, all kinds of stuff like that, the smaller features in the park. But if you're looking to go huge and fast, camber is going to be the way to go. So that's the first major distinction and major decision you have to, to make. Do I want a rockered ski that's going to be flexible, soft, and fun? even though all skis are fun? Or do I want a cambered ski that's gonna be stiff, be more stable, it's gonna be able to handle high speeds and big jumps better? Just jumps in general, it's gonna be able to handle better. That's the first major decision you have to make. And that really cuts the market in half. If you do make that decision, you're like, okay, I want a rockered ski because I wanna be doing butters and crazy new wave stuff, then the whole cambered market is gone. So you just cut the market in half and you're already on your way to figuring out which skis you want. Camber and rocker kind of embodies stiff versus soft as well. Most cambered skis are going to be stiff and most rockered skis are going to be soft however there are exceptions so if you're looking at a cambered ski and it's advertising that it's going to be a soft camber ski just be aware that even though it's camber it still might not have the stability you need if you're looking to be like a, a jump rider or something like that and same with rocker if it's a rocker shaped ski but it's advertising a stiff flex just know that it's not going to be as buttery and as playful as you might imagine just because it's rocker or camber doesn't mean it's going to have those characteristics that you would associate with both shapes you need to look at their flex patterns as well and how stiff or soft the ski is moving on from there uh, one question I get a lot and I really can't answer this guys is what size what length ski should I get I, I can't answer that for you because it's you know if you go to the ski shop they're gonna give you like a certain size certain length ski that you should be riding based on your height and your weight. That's not like the only size you can ride. It's not like set in stone, you can only ride a 168. That's not how it works at all. What you need to know is the shorter the ski, the more agile the ski is, is going to be. The easier it will be to control in the air. If you're doing flips, if you're doing spins, if you're spinning off rails, it's gonna be lighter weight. It's just gonna be easier to control, but you are gonna lose that stability. So be aware, you know, the shorter the ski, the less stable, but the easier it is to maneuver. The longer the ski, the more stable, and it's gonna be a little more clunky, a little more heavy, but once you get used to it, it really won't be that bad. Personally, I like a long ski because of the style it offers and the stability it offers. I don't think I'll ever ride a ski that's shorter than what I should be riding. I'll probably ride a ski that's longer than what I should be riding, as weird as that sound. But it's really all preference. Just one thing to be aware of. Don't get a ski that's way too short because then you lose all stability and it's almost, it's dangerous to ride. So a lot of people want to know what length ski should I ride? and there's no really definitive answer is preference and honestly you're gonna have to just kind of experiment and to be perfectly frank with you even if you lose four centimeters like for the average skier for the average park skier you're really not gonna notice that you're really not I rode my skis I rode skis that are seven centimeters longer than my skis back-to-back -back runs 
and I didn't notice a thing. So it's really not that big of a deal. It's just, you know, it's a little overhyped, I would say. So moving on from there, wide versus narrow. Uh, this is again preference, but what I would suggest if you're looking for a ski that's gonna be able to handle stuff outside of the park as well. So let's say you live in an area where you have decent bad country, you have woods you wanna ride, you have you know pretty frequent powder days, then you're gonna wanna look for a park ski that is wider. Otherwise, you're just gonna be sinking into the powder. Um, if you have like a distinct pair of powder skis, obviously it doesn't matter what width you get underfoot, but having a wider ski underfoot just offers more ability to ride it outside of the park, more of an all-mountain feeling ski. And the same goes with camber. Camber is going to offer a more all-mountain ski. But yeah, wide versus narrow underfoot, again, it's all preference. If you just want a pure park ski, then it doesn't matter. But if you want a ski that can go outside of the park, go with a little wider underfoot ski. It's going to give you more stability outside of the park and inside of the park. Your park performance on a wide ski versus a, a narrow ski, as long as it's not like a powder boat ski, you're really not going to notice too much of a difference there as well. So finally guys, one thing I want you to know is park skis are not going to last for like 10 seasons. You're going to beat the crap out of your park skis. So no matter what ski you ride, even if they're advertising it as the most durable park ski, you got to take that with a grain of salt because all skis are going to get just absolutely beat up in the park. There's sharp edges hitting in, knocking into your skis over and over and over again. You know, no matter how durable the ski is, it's still going to get beat up and most likely within three seasons, you're going to have to get a new pair of skis if you're riding them in park like daily so just be aware that durability wise all park skis are gonna get beat up um, it's just how it is it's just how the cookie crumbles it sucks because I love my skis I think they're beautiful but I know by the end of next season I'm gonna be thinking about a new pair because that's gonna be season number three and and they're just gonna be beat up so Hopefully this video helps you guys. If you have any additional comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I will be sure to answer them. Again, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I'll be making more videos in the future. Stay tuned for that project I mentioned. I can't really, I can't really talk about it, guys. I just can't. So just stay tuned. It'll be coming out soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.